In today's workout, we're going to be hitting our arms, more specifically the biceps and the triceps using dumbbells only. A bench is optional and for rest periods, you want to go for a maximum of one minute. So go for lower rest periods if you're working with lower weight loads and higher rest periods if you're working with heavier weight loads. So our first workout here is biceps X hammer curl, four sets, eight reps per arm. This one is great for targeting all parts of your biceps, including your forearm. So your brachialis, your brachioradialis, all of it. You know, instructions for this, alternate the starting arm each rep. So whichever arm you start with, as soon as you're done one rep, you alternate and start with the other arm to build balance. This is a hybrid as well. So one rep is a combination of each move. And also you want to make sure that you avoid swinging the dumbbells as you curl. This is extremely important and it's a common mistake you want to avoid to maximize this exercise. So four sets of this and then we move on to our next exercise. So we've got some overhead tricep press next up, four sets, 10 repetitions. I'm working with 70 pounds here. So since I'm working with, you know, both my arms, I tend to work with heavier weight loads for that. So for this, you want to keep your head tilted forward slightly. So not too much, just slightly. So it's out of the way. And you want to make sure that whenever you lower the dumbbells, you're doing it slowly and until both of your elbows form a 90 degree angle. So lift straight up, maintaining the same position with your body throughout. Don't compromise that. You can always do this without a bench as well. Just get on the floor. Uh, with your knees and just repeat the same motion. That's essentially how this works. When you're done, make sure you slowly rest the dumbbell on your shoulder as you, you know, lift it over your body. Next up, you want to adjust the bench into a full incline position. Double bicep curl is what we've got next. Three sets, eight repetitions. So for this one, we're going to be targeting our bicep peaks more than anything. For this, you want to curl slowly and hold the dumbbells at the top of each rep for about one second. This way you essentially maximize your bicep curls. You can do this for every bicep curl workout or exercise that you want. It'll always be the same. So you also can do this standing if you don't have access to a bench, which is great. Just make sure you follow the same rules, the same concepts throughout. Next up, we've got some tricep work. So single tricep kickbacks, three sets, eight reps per arm, 40 pounds is what I'm working with for this one right here. And make sure that when you're doing this exercise right here, you're keeping your elbows close to your body. You want to maintain a straight and a neutral spine throughout as well. Your back should not be in a hunch or any other position, you know? So extend the dumbbell as far back as you can while maintaining the same elbow position. So don't compromise your elbow position throughout. And don't forget that you have to switch and complete the same amount of reps on the other side. If you don't have a bench, you can also do this on the floor or on any flat surface that you can, you know, place your knees on and your arm and create the same motion. Next up here, we've got some more bicep work, twist and curls. Three sets, 12 repetitions. I'm using a pair of 30 pound dumbbells for this workout, but you can use whatever you have. And this applies to every other exercise we've talked about. All you have to do is modify the rest time and increase or reduce the amount of rep count to make it difficult. Make sure you're rotating both dumbbells completely at the top of each repetition. So a 360 degree flip, breathe in as you lift up and out as you lower. This applies for every other exercise we talked about as well. Avoid swinging your body as you lift. So hold the same body position. Finally, we've got a superset diamond push up plus tricep kickbacks. Three sets, eight reps each. So for this one right here, it's pretty simple. If you've done push-ups before, then you know how to do it. So complete one exercise and then move on to the next immediately. That's how you complete a superset. Place your knees on the floor if you struggle with regular push-ups. And you want to lean forward and maintain a very neutral spine as you complete the kickbacks. So hold your back straight, hold your, your spine straight and kick back both dumbbells together. Try to limit your body from rocking back and forth too much as best as you can. That's it. You can go ahead and complete your cool down routine if you have one. Uh, I would advise doing that for sure. But that's all I've got for you guys in this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. It's Tommy with the Minus MVMT, and I'm out, y'all.